Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Sky Factory 2.5. Today we're on episode 40. Hope you guys are all doing good. I'm doing fantastic. So guys, question of the day today. I get a lot of questions during the live stream. Jevin, why do you do YouTube for a living? My question to you is, what is your dream job? I love, re I love reading and replying to these comments. So let me go down in the comment section below. Now, like challenge for today is going to be 310 likes. Let's see if we can beat that challenge, guys. I know you can because you're awesome. Anyways, guys, let's get started with today's video. All right, guys, welcome back to another episode. Hope you guys are doing good. I am doing fantastic. I have been in the dragon world doing a little bit more work. Just killing them dragons. I love killing the dragons. It's so much fun. Uh, so let's see how many hearts do I have now? I have 23 hearts. Um... What about yellow hearts? I have 205 yellow hearts. Okay, so one thing I wanted to do today was remember a long time ago, we had said eventually I would like to make the green heart canisters. Well, we are going to attempt that today. Uh, the first thing that is going to be the god hardest thing in the world is we need 10 blocks of bedrockium. Yeah, I know. Um, That is going to be rather hard. Let's, let's craft one. How long does it take for my system? It crafts four minutes to craft one block of bedrockium. Oh my goodness. That is kind of ridiculous. You know, the sad part is, is that like, I can't even make it go any faster. Like it's literally going as fast as it possibly can. And I'm even using like, I'm using as much of my system as I can. Um, so yeah, it's using all of those. That's crazy. And it's still super slow. Um, hold on. All right. So that that is actually going to take quite a while, right? Now, there's one thing I want to try or I want to look into. I know that there is a spawner from uh, Draconium. Maybe not. I thought it was maybe it's called a mob spawner. I don't know uh mob spawner i thought that draconic evolution had a spawner maybe not mob grinder generator okay maybe they they took it out or something i swear to god i thought that there was a uh a mob spawner i was gonna try to make an actual uh farm but i don't think that there is any spawner in the game that can actually spawn ender dragons and man i swear i swear on everything i thought that draconic had one of those anyways um it's gonna take quite a while for this to get done the only way i can see this going any faster is if we maybe i know that there are um like different crafting options for that it's so like maybe we can help it out by maybe using like a crafting table or something. Or I know that there's different machines that can craft probably faster than this. But um, that's a lot, man. OK, well, here's the deal. I'm going to let this system go and I'm going to let it craft all the bedrock that it needs that. And I've got like two million bedrock. So um, uh, I was wondering now nah, that would probably take a while, too. Uh, anyway, so I'm going to let this go. I'm going to pattern the block once it's done and then just try to get get it done as fast as possible. All right, guys. So one of the things you guys said in the last couple episodes was that in our reactor, this thing could be way more efficient if we remove the diamond blocks and put some sort of coolant in there. Uh, and almost every single one of you recommended that we use uh, like gelid chirothium chirothium gelid this stuff right here um the only problem is is that i have i think i have snow these break into snowballs don't they no okay well i've learned something new today snow blocks do not turn into snowballs so the only problem is, is that i really don't have snowballs i do have some blizz uh, is there a way to just straight up craft this stuff? Uh, Blizz Essence loot bag. OK, what about the Blizz powder? Uh, pulverizer 
or a snowball with redstone. That would probably be our best bet. The problem is I just don't know where I'm going to get all the snow from. We can make blizz seeds, and that would give us probably our... You know what? This is probably going to be the best bet right here. Um, Because then we could just set it up to to uh, pulverize it. And pulverize it would give us four and a snowball. All right. You know what? I think that's what I'm going to do. Does the which one of these goes into the uh, to the liquid though? Can we use both gelid? Um. Okay, so it's the dust is what we need to make, and the dust is made with niter. Do I have niter? I do not have niter. Niter is made with saltpeter essence. Okay, so we need to make two new seeds then. Um, what seeds can we get rid of? Essence, um, probably the quartz seeds. I want to keep Sirtis quartz. Actually, you know what? We could probably just get rid of the Ardite crop. Let me get rid of that. And then let me get rid of the Cobalt crop, and I'll just replace both of these with that. There we go. All right, let's go make some new seeds real fast. And okay, so we want to make um, Blizz seeds. These. Um, I was gonna say I, I know for a fact that I've got more than enough of that essence, and then we need a Mencio seed itself. So one thing I never have, I'm gonna craft a couple of them. There's 64. All right, let's see. Blizz. There we go. And then we've got the Blizz seeds. We also need Saltpeter seeds. Um. Oh, you know what? Now that I think about it, I, I don't have enough Saltpeter. Because we need Niter. Is there any other way to get Niter? You can get it from pulverizing blitz. Okay, let's just um, let's run to the last millennium real fast. I wonder how common it is. They said 50%, so let's just see what happens. Oh, we'll never be able to see what's going in that chest. Uh, yeah, we're getting plenty. Okay, fantastic. Now... Um, let's look powder you, uh, looks up uses. So when, so snowballs, we'll need snowballs. Isn't okay. Yeah. So we'll have to make this, which is from, okay. I think we'll be okay. Cause it's an off product of what we're looking for. So once we make the, uh, make these, that will make the Blizz Essence. Okay, so we need to make the Niter Seeds then. Or Saltpeter. And then Essence. There we go. There we go, put those over here. So now that the half of halfway points done, those will start growing. And that's going to make our essence. Um, we should probably is there some sort of auto crafter? Uh, auto crafting. Let's just look up crafting table. There really isn't, is there? Oh, there's like nothing. Um, isn't there like a cyclic assembler? I forget. I'm let me Google that real fast. Cyclic assembler. I want to make sure that's what I want to do. Uh, an automated crafting table. Yeah, that's exactly what I want. Okay, so let's go to make that. Um, and oh, you know what? I'll do I'll auto crit here. So I'm gonna get ready. I mean, auto craft that. I'm gonna get the augments for it if there's anything possible, and I'm gonna come back and we'll set up the auto crafting, 
and pulver everything set up to be pulverized. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and uh, head over to the last millennium, and we're gonna set up our machines. I might actually set up a couple other machines to just automatically craft our essence when we need it to. Uh, one thing we need to check is to see. 13 of 32. That can't be right. 10 of 32. Huh, that's weird. Uh, there's more. Oh, I guess there's more on that side. Um, let's go on this side. We'll put them right here. So, um, I've got my cyclic assemblers. Here. Here. Both of these are resonant, obviously. Want to make them as fast as possible. So... You, you, now uh, we need to make our schematics, schematic in there, you, um, and that's the niter, there we go, fantastic, and then the next one. There we go. Fantastic. And then now, um, we need cable. Okay. Um, export bus, export bus. That's not what I want. Acceleration, acceleration. And then, so this is the saltpeter one. So we want... Saltpeter essence to go into there. And then we want the Blizz essence to go into there. Okay, fantastic, fantastic. Um, oh, I forgot my wireless terminal at home. Poop! Alright, we gotta go back real fast. This is why we, we bring our wireless terminal with us everywhere. Um, oh, it could have been in my bag, probably. <laughs> Uh, no, it's not in there. I do not know what happened to my wireless terminal. Interesting. I don't know, that thing disappeared. Oh, it's in my inventory. Wow, I'm failing anyways. Um, ender chests. We probably don't have them in the system anyways. No, we would have had to craft them, so we would have had to come here anyways. Two of those. There we go. Back to the last millennium. I wish the uh, cyclic assemblers allowed for more recipes. Okay. And then, okay, so now we need to provide power. There we go. So those should be whenever those get the essence. Yeah, they they have already made what they did. Okay, let's go back home. So now that we've got that done, um, the Blizz should be auto crafting whenever it gets the essence. So now we need to polarize this whenever we want to. Um, or actually, what we're gonna do is we want to set it to polarize to get the snowballs. So. Let's go over here, Blizz, one of you, four of you, and then let's go Class Millennium. The only problem, I'm a little worried about the snowballs, but I hope we get enough. So, Pulverizer, that there. Now that that is in the system, uh, and the Nitor is in the system. We have 44 of it. Or Niter is in the system. We should be able to craft the Gelid Dust. That. What am I missing? Snowball. Alright, so, uh, Blizz. And then let's see if that makes any snow. I still can't believe I cannot make snow with this. This is... Shocking. It just makes water. Okay. One snow from that. Anyways, that's as uh, best as we can do. I mean, and then put that in a system. And then 
Um, hmm. uh, so from there, we're going to have to figure out how we want to do the rest of this, which basically means we just need to pump it into uh, Magma Crucible somewhere. Have it fill into a tank, probably. All of our Magma Crucibles are on this side, though, like right here. So we can do another setup like that or something. I don't know. I'm going to figure out what I want to do. Gonna... Okay, guys, I've got an idea to solve our uh, our situation with the snowballs, depending on if we're in the right biome. Deep ocean. That, sh that should work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a hopper down here. Wrong way, of course. There we go. Let me get rid of the bottom one. And then uh, I'm sure I've got fences. And then we'll build. I think we're just going to put a snowman here, to be honest with you. Something like this. There we go. And then pumpkin. And then snow blocks. And I'll just do this for a while. I mean, as long as he can live here. I mean, I don't see why he wouldn't be able to. There we go. I, I just need him to make snow on the ground. So does he not make snow? That could be a problem. Okay, um, well, since he does not make snow, let me grab a net. And we need to find a biome where he can make snow. So let me pick this up. I didn't, I thought a deep ocean would be fine, to be honest with you. Call that up. Um... Interesting. I don't know what the tendril dimension is. The mining one might work. Um, let's try that one. Let's try the flat mining one. I forget what biome was this was. What biome is this? Ocean. Uh, once again, I'm not sure if this is. Uh... OK, so he does make snow here. Fantastic. So I'll just <laughs> I'll just basically trap him. OK. I didn't realize that he would make snow and I don't I don't see that's that's kind of funny, to be honest with you. Deep ocean versus ocean. And it makes one and one doesn't. Okay, let me break. You. And since we have an unbreakable shovel, I should just be able to be like, bam. You. And then break that. I can't tell if it's making snowballs or not. All right, let's go back to the yeah, I'm going to make a uh, I want to make a new commit to it, but. OK. Perfect, we're making snowballs, so I'm going to go do that for a while then, um, and we should be good to go for snow. I don't think we'll have to worry about it anymore after this. Oh, man, I have been busy. So first off, I filled our reactor with gel and chirothium. I haven't turned it on yet because I want to see how correct you guys were. I've also got my bedrock, 10 blocks of bedrock finished. I've been working. Let's go last millennium here. So you guys said that if I change the entire inside of this and like every single piece as a source block of the chirothium now, um, you guys said that this would be more efficient. So with that being said, activate reactor and let's see what it does compared to the other one. All right. 
Okay, so first off, the other reactor, I don't know if that's like full steam or not, because I, I had a pause in the video. No, it's still growing. Okay, other reactor was actually cooler. The diamond blocks were cooler. Uh, temperature core of 2592Rs with the gelid is 2715. Uh, we were generating 75,000, 75.6 KR per tick. So we're gaining, we gained about 4,000 RF per tick. This is exactly the same. This is exactly the same. So we gained about 4K RF per tick by changing that out, which is okay. Uh, we still have tons of power. I mean, not exactly super stressed on that. So let's go back home. Now I want to make um, green hearts. So first off, we got to make these. We need 10 of these. Put those back in there. And then so we're going to need 10 of the yellow heart canisters. 10 of those. Oh, look at all this gold. I forgot that it takes so much gold. I'm kind of sad that our reactor isn't generating more, to be honest with you. Green hearts, and then you. So there's 10 green heart canisters. So we are now completely full on health. One thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take... I just want to see what the resource pack looks like without it. Um, we haven't... We, I don't think we've ever played with the without the resource pack, for that matter. I forgot that it takes like 400 years to load. <laughs> Come on. Any day now. There we go. Let's um grab an apple. There we go. So that should fill up our hearts pretty quick, I think. Maybe not. It's not really really growing them at all. Huh, that's weird. Anyways, I think that is going to do it for today's episode. Um we got a lot done today, uh, especially with being able to make the Jelly Chirothium. So we come back next time, I think we're going to start working on Draconic stuff a little bit more. Uh, anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this episode, make sure you hit that like button. Otherwise, I hope you all have a great day. This is Hi Jevin. Peace out.